I've been trying out some new snack ideas and recipes for my kids, and these blueberry avocado muffins were a hit. These are a slightly healthier, or should I say, more nutrient-filled alternative to a typical blueberry muffin. Plus, they were delicious, which of course is a must. Let's jump right in and I'll show you how to make this. And here is just about everything we will need to make these muffins. I found the idea for this recipe on Pinterest from bbfood.com, but made a couple tweaks to suit our family, and what I had in my pantry. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. First off, we have an egg allergy in the family, so I replaced the egg with a flax egg. You may have seen me use flax eggs in some previous videos. To make a flax egg, simply combine one tablespoon of ground flaxseed with two and a half tablespoons of water and let it rest for about 10 minutes to thicken up. This amount will replace one whole egg in a recipe. Now that the flax egg is done, let's get back to the muffins. In a mixing bowl, add one cup of whole wheat flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. If you want the muffins to actually end up looking a bit green in the end, like avocados, you'll want to use a white whole wheat flour, or all-purpose flour. I want it down, I want it down. In another large mixing bowl, add half an avocado and beat this with a hand mixer until it's smooth and creamy. Next, add in one third cup of olive oil, then one third cup of maple syrup. I think you could drop the maple syrup down to a quarter cup or maybe even less, but it just depends on how sweet you want the muffins to turn out. Next, add in one egg or one flax egg, one quarter cup of whole milk, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix all of this until completely combined. Add in all of the dry flour mix into the wet ingredients and gently fold the ingredients all together. Don't overmix this or work it too hard. They can end up becoming gummy or dense, kind of like how you don't want to overmix pancake or waffle batter. Finally, add in two thirds of a cup of blueberries and gently fold in to combine. Once the batter is ready, get a lightly greased muffin pan and add the batter to the pan. Fill the batter up about three quarters of the way to the top. Honestly, the amount of batter for this recipe was not quite enough to fill for a full dozen muffins, probably because the original recipe was for a mini muffin tin. This may also change depending on the size avocado used for the recipe. If you're using a normal size muffin pan like I did, you'll probably end up with about eight-ish muffins, or you can fill them a bit under three quarter of the way and just get short muffins. That's what I did, still ended up fine and delicious. If you want 12 full-size muffins, you'll probably want to double the recipe. Once the muffin tin is all battered up, bake these in an oven set to 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 15 minutes, or until golden brown. You could stick a toothpick in to check if it comes out clean also. If it comes out clean, you know they're done. Make sure to check the muffins early, maybe at about 8 or 10 minutes, because depending on how high you filled the muffin tins, it might bake much faster. The muffins I made in this video probably only took about 10 minutes. After they are done baking, remove from the pan and let them cool on a rack. After this, it's time to enjoy. Well now you know how to make some blueberry avocado muffins. I wouldn't necessarily go so far as to say these muffins are healthy. They still have oil and syrup, but they do have better nutrients than what a typical blueberry muffin would have had, with butter, vegetable oil, or granulated sugar. Healthier fats and natural sugars are always good swaps to make when you can. you enjoyed this video or maybe learned something today. If you did, please consider leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more like this. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.